Awful. I don't know why this show is called Ajoche. It should be called Awful because, in my opinion, it is hard as we came here to watch. Hey guys, it's the Delphinator here and this is the Add Your Chair recap series. We're in week three now, so let's talk about what's been going on. Awful. I don't know why this show is called Add Your Chair. It should be called Awful because, in my opinion, it is hard as we came here to watch. This babe went from beady-eyed, unassuming, apprentice healer to just Godzilla, yo. Like... Wicked witch from the west, my goodness. Things are happening. This babe has started dropping people like flies and she started with the king's last child. I mean, that scene where they find out that the kid had died and she's just standing far away in one corner just watching them cry and wail. And then she gives this really intriguing monologue <laughs> about how their skin will crawl or something, about them dropping like flies that they will drink the tears of bitterness or something of that sort. I'm going to insert it somewhere. One by one, your loved ones will fall. Bitterness will be your food. You will drink your own tears until your eyes run dry. You will look for who to blame. You will search. You will slay them like you slay the people of Abu, but you will find none. It was just mind-blowing. I mean... Hats off to Lota Chuku. She has done an amazing job with this character. Like, I'm really, really looking forward to who she kills next. Not to sound morbid or anything, but, I mean, she's the reason why I'm watching this show right now. Like, I, I can't even shout right now at this point. Secondly, how do they have a healer working in the palace and there was no background check done? I mean, come on. I know there was no internet and stuff like that back in the day, but I'm sure they had their ways of doing background checks. Like, somebody is working in the palace and they don't know where she came from. You just assumed. You don't know her roots, nothing. And then the head healer who brought her into the palace, who is responsible for this, can't do anything about it because if she talks, then she'll be responsible for the child's death or whatever betides the king in the future, you know. So she's really at a crossroads right now okay so let's talk about the kids on this show um for some reason it looks like that it looks like they were focusing on the kids this week we see the head healer's daughter being carted off to become a priestess or maiden of some sorts and she's told that she can't have yams again if she's chosen by the gods and that was really a big deal this week they kept talking about how she can't eat yams and the other kids were laughing at her and yeah, i don't know i, I kind of like th that girl's character i want to see what they do with her and what the priestess is supposed to do in Ochoalija Kingdom. Also, Ashes, uncle, you know, the kid that was saved from Abo, the, the kingdom that was obliterated, um, he's been sent off to Ufam because he finally found out about his roots and he was mad at the king and he voiced out his opinions and whatnot. And I don't know what the story arc there is, but we see that um the heir to the throne the one that the king has chosen the general's son is still going to farm to look for ashes to play with him also the head healer's kid is seen with ashes as well they have a conversation about marriage i don't know how kids are talking about how they can never get married like their kids what do they know but yeah i guess we're all curious as kids by the way have you guys noticed that i'm wearing a Bainwe outfit. This is an Idoma something. Anytime I wear this this shirt out, I'm always getting people speaking Idoma at me, and I'm like, no, I'm not from Bainwe. But yeah, whatever. It was given to me by my dear friend Jonah. Shout out to Jonah, wherever you are right now. I feel like the pace of this show is rather slow. I guess because it's a telenovela, it's a daily show, and they they need to conserve the story. If you know what I mean. I mean, this is going to be going on for 52 weeks, a whole year. But at the same time, I wish it was faster. Like, we really want to know what happens next. For instance, the story arc of um, the Ufam kingdom, how they came to visit the king, and we see the king trying to mend fences by betrothing one of his daughters to an Ufam prince. Um, obviously, the daughter is not pleased, and she, <laughs> she lashes out as her maid. She tosses yam and oil at her. I mean, this kingdom and yam shah they shall like their yams well I, I don't blame them yam is life yam is like one of the best snacks in my village 
Anyways, a Jocha train. I don't know if you're feeling it yet. Well, I am. I need you guys to clamber on. Let me know what your thoughts are about the different characters and their story arcs and how they're unfolding. There's some eye candy here. Guys are still talking about Lotachuku, aka Ofu. There's Black Bassi. We have Chris Okagwe. Who else has chased in this show? Oh, Bolum. Asa Samuel, by the way, is in this show. Um, let me know your thoughts. Who, who are you? Whose character are you looking forward to seeing unfold? How much faster do you want this story to unfold? Who would you like to see introduced? Who is a useless character in this film that if the person dies, you won't miss them? You know, let's talk in the comment section below. Um, once again, it's the Delphinator here. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and share this video. Until the next one, toodoo!